This is the Dog Father's Barbecue. I'm Johnny from View to a Grill. Just stepping in to help my buddy out. We're going to be doing a Monterey Smash Burger on the Weber Kettle. <laughs> First off, let's go through my ingredients and do some prep work. Today I'm going to be using some 80-20 ground beef. I'm also going to be using some Monterey Jack cheese. We're going to be putting this on Texas toast, y'all. If you don't know what Texas toast is, it's just thick sliced white bread. For our sauce, I'm going to be using this Blue Top brand of lime jalapeno creamy hot sauce. You'll also need one large onion. And for the bell peppers, I'm just using this colorful array of bell peppers. Now, if you wanted some jalapenos, you can definitely do that. It would actually be great on this burger, but the older I get, the fewer jalapenos I can eat. Now, as it turns out, the day I was filming this video, very windy and misty. So I'm gonna do the vegetables inside. Now, let's start off by prepping our onion. And when we slice our onions today, we're gonna slice them as thin as possible. Now in our cast iron pan, I'm gonna throw in about a half a stick of butter. And as soon as the butter has melted enough to cover the bottom of the cast iron pan, I'll start throwing in the onions. Once all the onions are in our cast iron pan, all we have to do is salt and pepper to taste. Now we're gonna let those onions caramelize in the cast iron pan while we prepare our bell peppers. Now the cut I'm going for on the bell peppers, they're going to be between an eighth of an inch and a quarter of an inch thick. Now once the onions get to a stage that you like, go ahead, put those in a bowl and set them to the side. Now we'll get the colored bell pepper. Just throw them right in the same pan. Let those simmer until they get a little bit of color on them and then remove them from the pan. Now we'll get our smash burger balls ready to go. I'll just weigh these up to three ounces each and then get them on a pan until I'm ready to use them. Now I'm sure you're getting the theme here. We're getting everything ready to go before we start smashing these burgers. So now that we have everything ready to go, let's get the Weber kettle ready. Now I bet you're wondering how we're gonna actually smash these on the Weber kettle. Well, I'm gonna be using the Golden's cast iron sear plate. From edge to edge, we got about 16 inches of cooking space. I'll also be using the slow and sear to keep all of the charcoal together and nice and tidy. Now for this setup, do not bank the slow and sear all the way to the side of the kettle. We're gonna to have to move it away from the side of the kettle about an inch to an inch and a half to accommodate these tabs on the sear plate. Now let's get the fire started. And once it's ashed over, we can get it into the Weber kettle. We'll get those coals moved around for some even heat distribution, close the door and get the cast iron sear plate right on top of the grill. Now we'll let the cast iron sear plate come up to temp. And I like to do this between 475 and 525 degrees. I think that's perfect to smash your burgers. Now, when you're doing this, you wanna have everything right next to your kettle and ready to go. Because once you start smashing your burger, everything is gonna go extremely quick. Now our sear plate is hot and I'm gonna start first by toasting the Texas toast. I'll just spray it with some spray butter on both sides and then just toast it. Once it gets to the toastiness you like, pull it off. Here's a quick tip. If your sear plate is getting too hot for your burgers, just spin the sear plate because we only have the fire on one side of the kettle. The other side is going to be a lot cooler than the side you had over the fire. Now, let's smash these burgers. We're gonna do this without parchment paper because I have the Burger Iron Burger Press. And if you use this technique, you won't need parchment paper. Put the hamburger balls right on the sear plate. All you have to do is firmly press the burger, twist and slide, and the burger iron will release that smashed patty and there won't be any issues with it sticking. Like I said, this happens really quick. This is a compressed four second clip of 26 seconds of real time. Now it's time to season the burger. All I'm using is an all purpose rub of SPG. As you can see, it's still windy. It's just blowing my rub all over the place. And that whole process took less 
than a minute. And check out this crust. This is why we do smash burgers. That crust is so delicious and flavorful. It's really easy to see how a lot of people just absolutely love this style of burger. And at this point, I realized I forgot my cheese. So I had to run inside, found it, run back outside, and now I can cheese my burger. Now we'll get the caramelized onions and the bell pepper warmed up on the cool side of the grill. And now we'll just get our patties. I'll stack one of the patties on the onions, the other patty on the bell peppers, and give it 30 seconds. And then I'll stack them both on top of each other. And the onions weren't cooperating, so they just went on top. Now we'll just let those hang out for a second while we put our sauce on our Texas toast. Toast is sauced, now go back and grab your patties and then just set those right on top of that sauce. Get some more of that sauce, spread it all over the top. And then finally, we're gonna put the lid on this and call this burger done. Now that's looking pretty good. We got a nice uh, toasty toast. And now it's time to give this thing a taste. This burger is very delicious, very juicy. I had to go find a napkin to wipe my face. And uh, yeah, that is a really good Monterey smash burger. Thank you for allowing me to step in for the dog father. I hope you all go down below, visit his affiliates and hit the subscribe button. And if you have time, check me out on View to a Grill. I'll see you guys over there. Take care, y'all.